I do love some real leather. Even if a car squeaks like hell, real leather is, uh, it always gets me. I'm kind of a sucker for that. Ooh, ooh, I think that actually broke a little bit. Don't tell mom. Wow. I'm gonna do the button test later, but I always love these Porsche buttons. Very, very satisfying click. The squeaks though are gonna be a little bit less satisfying. Heated steering wheel. Wow, this thing's a little bit of a squeak fest. We're starting out the new year 2021 with some killer squeaks. Wow. Now, those of you who hang around towards the uh, this last half of the video, you guys stay around for those button clicks, don't you? Well, this little session for button clicks is gonna be kind of long because Porsche is known to have way too many buttons on their cars. And I'm gonna press every single one. So here we go. Oof. Even the buttons squeak. My hands are sticky. I don't think this car was detailed.
Uh, definitely not the best performer in the world, which is surprising to me because just out a few of these Cayennes, they're not that amazing. It's probably the worst ones I've tried out. But then I reviewed the 2018 Panamera Turbo, and that was one of the best cars I've ever been in. I didn't have the two-score system at that time for that car, but um, if I had to go based on fit and finish, that car would get a 10 out of 10. Materials would be 9 out of 10 for the Panamera Turbo 2018. This is completely different, though. I mean, it's a similar kind of interior. I mean, almost, I don't know, similar generation. This is only two years older, but... Wow, what a difference in uh, fit and finish. This thing's a little rolling garbage can here when it comes to the fit and finish. It's a little squeak fest. Guess it's a fair Mercedes competitor in that regard. Still would rather have one of these over Mercedes, but uh, it's a personal preference. Again, my reviews don't reflect the driving experience. They only focus on the interior. This is, is the door closed all the way a big panel gap right here i don't even notice that till now i don't know if porsche or the volkswagen group holds the cayennes to the same standard as they do with the 911s caymans boxsters panameras and so on but wow this cayenne is kind of garbage um you know what for fit and finish well damn i think it gets a four out of ten it's pretty piss poor for a porsche I'm kind of disappointed that I have to give it that, but that's what it deserves. This isn't even a high mileage beat up one. It's only got 62,000 miles. So, I mean, come on. As far as materials, this does a little bit better. We got real leather seats going on here, which is uh, really nice. Soft leather seats. Leather steering wheel. All the vinyls and plastics that they do use in here is, you know... It's kind of decent. I think Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, they did good with some of their plastics. Texture is good and everything. I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for materials. And we got the nice, uh, we got the wood and metal bits going on here. So that's kind of nice. The scroll would be bumped up a little bit for materials if this was full leather on the dash and door sills. If we had leather or Alcantara on the headliner. But 7 out of 10 I think is fair. But 4 out of 10 for fit and finishes. Personally unacceptable if you're going to this level of car. But that's just me, though. I'm a little bit weird like that. But you guys know that, and that's why you're subscribed. So let me know what you guys think of this Cayenne. I posted this question on my last video. Do you want me to film with 60 FPS and do kind of like a normal, uh, you know, this view? Or do you prefer 30 FPS with... Uh, with a, a wide angle for the recording. Let me know in the comments which way you'd prefer to see my videos. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.